point of inflection for cubic function. Question is, show that for any cubic function y equals to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, there is a single point of inflection. Determine the slope of the curve at that point. Now this is a very general and interesting question. So for any cubic function we are saying that we can have only one point of inflection, right? So let's try to figure it out. What is point of inflection? Point of inflection is a point where the second derivative is zero, that's first part, and where the concavity of the second derivative changes. So there are two things for point of inflection. So we'll write in short. So point of inflection for us means two things. One is that the derivative, that is the second derivative, y double dash is equal to zero. And the second thing is concavity changes. So when we say concavity changes, we say, let us say we are considering a point here, then y double dash changes from either plus to minus or from minus to plus, either way. Then you have a point of inflection, correct? That's what it is. Now let's try to solve and see whether it is really true that for any cubic function there is only one point of inflection. So let's write down the function and find its derivative. So we have y equals to ax cube plus bx square plus I mean bx square plus cx plus d. So what is y dash equals to? 3 times ax square plus 2 times bx plus c that is y dash and y double dash is equals to 6ax plus 2b right now this is a linear equation, correct? Now in this linear equation, when will it be zero? The first condition is that we have to equate y double dash equals to zero. So if I say y double dash equals to zero, that means this is a linear equation. It will have only one zero. So we need to find 6ax plus 2b equals to zero. And that gives us one particular answer, right? And that is the value of x is equals to minus 2b divided by 6a, correct? which can be simplified and we can write minus b over 3a. So that is the point at which we can have point of inflection. correct? Now how do you say that this point will be a point of inflection? That is kind of critical to understand, right? So let's look into that part also. That is, if I have to draw graph of this function 6ax plus 2b, which has a 0 somewhere, which is minus b over 3a, let us assume that these are all positive values for the time being, just for the sake of it, right? So we know the slope is 6a and 2b is kind of y-intercept. So I'm just drawing a line, which is kind of like this, right? So that is, let me just make a line with different ink. So we have this line for us. So let us say this line represents y double dash. This line represents y double dash. So we are talking about that particular point and we say this point is minus b by 3a. Minus b by 3a. And do we have a point of inflection here or not? This is what you need to test, right? Test is there before your eyes. As you see from this point, it is a straight line. So when it goes through a zero, then it's positive on one side and negative on the other side. Since y double dash is positive on one side and negative on the other side, concavity will change. And therefore, this indeed is a point of inflection, right? So this is point of inflection since we have change in concavity. Do you understand? At x equals to minus b over 3a. So there is no doubt about it, correct? So therefore, we can just show even from a very general equation that this is true, correct? Now the second part is determine the slope of the curve at this point. That means we already found y dash, right? So let me write down y dash and then find the slope. So let's do the part two, that is slope. 
we are finding slope at which point at x equals to minus b over 3a that is what we are trying to do right so what i will do is i'll simply substitute minus b by 3a in this equation that is the slope y dash so i'm writing m which is same as y dash for me right is equals to 3 times a and instead of x we are taking minus b over 3a so we'll write minus b over 3a whole square correct plus 2b times minus b over 3a so that becomes the slope of our function at that particular point right so we can simplify this so this square if you do minus b will become plus b square that comes in the numerator and 3a and in the numerator 3a squares so we'll get 3a in the numerator right and here we'll have minus sign because this is minus 2b square 2b square over 3a well 3a 3a is common so we can write 3a in the denominator and we get b square minus 2b square which is minus b square is it okay so determine the slope of the curve at that point so we know slope at this point will be always equal to minus b square over 3a that is interesting i hope you find this problem extremely useful and interesting thank you